Good morning, everyone. Welcome to AM Sports with me, Muftao Nabila Abdullah. The Ghana Premier League match day 26 continued on Monday when Accra Lions came up against Viviani Gold Stars at the Accra Sports Stadium. It was Accra Lions who walked away with a 2 0 win. Awin is looking for options. Takes the ball in the box. Nobody to connect. It's cleared by. But some chain ball falls to or draw. He shoots. Keeper fails to deal with it. And Accra Lions have opened the scoring at the Accra Sports Stadium. It is the striker, Mohamed Yaya, who puts Accra Lions ahead. But the goalkeeper, Kusi, should be doing better with that delivery from Odro. He fumbled. He gets punished. Accra Lions wouldn't mind. It's 1 0. 18 minutes at the Accra Sports Stadium. Accra Lions 1. The BNE Gold Stars 0. Odro took his time, he got the space, powerful drive, but the keeper should be doing better. He fumbles and the striker makes no mistake. Long drive, decides to grab it, it bounces off his chest. And Gold Stars will get us going for second half action. Asuma and Dankwa. Accra Lions have a big chance to make it 2-0. Here is Awuni, and Awuni has made it 2-0 for Accra Lions. It was always coming. The move was obvious. And Daniel Kwame Awuni makes it 2-0. Just two minutes after the break, Accra Lions have doubled their lead here at the Accra Sports Stadium. And they take the seat in that famous Mohamed Kudus celebration style. Awuni picked the spot, but that's a clever ball from Asuma to find Amponsa. And Amponsa's through ball, brilliant. Awuni took his time, first touch. He didn't need three touches. They are back to winning ways after losing to Hearts of Lions on match day 25. And Gold Stars have lost for the first time in six games. Full time. Goes from. Now let's hear from the coaches of both sides, starting with Ibrahim Tanko, who is excited with the victory his side got against Viviana Gold Stars, whilst his opponent, uh, Fimpon Manso, is unhappy with the performance of his boys. And uh, very good points for us, uh, looking at where we climbed at the table. I think the boys did very well. I mean, we create a lot of chances, and then winning 2-0 two, uh, two against BBN is a very good resource for us. You must be worried that you are creating and playing exciting football, but you are not clinical enough up front. Yes, I think uh, it's true, but I mean, we're scoring two goals against a, a tough uh, club like BBN is not an easy job. Yeah, definitely we are going to keep on working till we keep on scoring. Yeah. Although there are other teams who played throughout the week, but within one week we've traveled to Accra on two occasions and then played again on Wednesday and then to press with such uh, conditions, it was very difficult for us. If it were to be a team which doesn't do that, so you could see they were comfortable because they, 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 they can pass, they can build. So to prevent them, you needed to press them, to force them to kick long balls. And we were finding it difficult to do that because of our, our physical condition. So for me, that was the, the, main, the main reason that have affected us here. Kumasi Asante Kodoko is a club that is in trouble. Ten matches, eight defeats, one draw. And the fans of the club are unhappy with the current performance of the Porcupine Warriors. There's more in this report. The Porcupine Warriors suffered their set defeat in seven games as they lost 2 0 to Dreams FC on March Day 26 on Sunday at the Theatre of Dreams in Dewu. Kotoko, whose last positive result was a draw against Bechem United on March Day 24, were looking to get their first win since the 1st of March. However, the CAF Confederations Cup semi-finalist added more misery to Kotoko's problems. Sylvester Simba got things off for Dreams at the Theatre of Dreams, scoring after 25 minutes to put the still believe lads in the lead. John Enchi. You're Simba. Simba. 
Derek Atta Eje doubled the tally for Karim Zito's side after the break as they went on to claim all three points. Derek Atta Eje, John Enchi, lovely play from Enchi. Here is Atta Eje, chance for dreams. It is Atta Eje, Atta Eje shoots and Atta Eje scores. The defeat means Kotoko stay in the 11th position, just three points off the relegation zone and 16 points off the top sports in the league. For fans of the club, an urgent coaching shake-up is needed to turn things around. We need to sack the coach and find a new manager to turn things around. We also need to buy new players suitable for the club because Kotoko is not a club that should lose six games in seven. Since I was born, I have never seen this kind of performance from a Kotoko team. Otunfo needs to act and change the technical team. The coach is not helping the club. The club is killing us emotionally. We are tired and have left the team for them. This cannot be the state of Kumasi Asante Kotoko. But former player and current coach of Dreams FC, Karim Zito believes fans of the club must abandon their title hopes for the season and remain patient and supportive of the players and technical team. But all what I want to, to for them to understand, this is something called an, a change of event. You understand me? It's, it's about moment. The moment we are we, we are in now, they are having a bad day, bad bad. So all what I would like the supporters to do is they should they should not you know. The way they were, they were hooting and shouting at them brought in the psychological point of coaching that fear of failure can let you fail. So when you don't take time, this fear of failure will let the players fail injuries because they are afraid to come and then when there's a loss, what are they going to do? So I'm, 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 I would like to take this opportunity to plead to our supporters. Now we should forget about the league. We should try to end it. We should make peace with reality. The team is not in good shape. So the shouting and the hooting will not bring it back. But patience and focus can bring it back. So I'm pleading to them. Meanwhile, assistant coach David Okolo remains confident in the team's ability to turn things around for the Look at the Ghana Premier League table after March Day 26. Eight more matches to end the Ghana Premier League season for 2023-2024. Summer text this is at a summit. Wait. 49 points. Nation FC have got 44. Adriana Stars 42. Mediama 39. Accra Lions have also got 39. This is the second half of the table. Asante Kodago have got 33 points. And Real Tamale United, Heart of Lions, and Carolina United. These are the teams rooted at the foot of the Premier League table. Ghana Athletics President Bar Fusilian has revealed that the country could be hosting the next edition of the African Senior Athletics Championship. According to him, Ghana will be to host the event that will be happening in 2026. I don't have enough way to describe the importance of these tracks for Ghana athletes and Ghana athletes. Um, it is one in its kind in Africa. It, only Botswana and Kenya has this. There's, even Morocco doesn't have this one. So that shows how important it is. My prayer is that we should be able to keep it for the foreseeable future. We should be able to keep it good in two, three years time that we can request to host African Championship. That is our next big thing that we want to do. We will request for African Championship in the next two, three years, and we will continue to do the Grand Prix that will start, will start next year. And we'll also request to have a high performance center with this facility. What we need is to get a coach, a resident coach, to come and stay in Ghana here. The facilities are good, the electronic equipment are good. What else do we need? Ghana Athletics President Barfusun is speaking there. Now let's talk about the Ghana Fastest Human. It is in its 11th edition. And uh, Secretary to the President, uh, Asante Pidia too, has said that in this year's event, they expect to be able to raise athletes that will be participating in the Olympic Games. We are looking forward to uh, more of them participating in the Paris uh, Games as well. And um, I know that the President is determined to do whatever he can, just as he has done for the Africa Games, to ensure that um, we are 
uh, we move several notches higher in at the Paris um, Games. The, the, the benefits are self-evident. I don't think um, anybody uh, can challenge that. But we need more people uh, to support uh, the program. And any time that um, I am privileged to have this sort of platform, I think it's very important that we make this appeal uh, to corporate Ghana to really, um, and, and philanthropists, to really support the program. It's, it's fantastic, and um, uh, to the extent that it also helps the young athletes get an education, you, you couldn't be better than that. There will be UEFA Champions League football, which will be happening tonight. Let's take a look at the fixtures as the quarterfinal of the competition enters is match day two. We we'll have Barcelona come up against PSG, Borussia Dortmund will play Atletico Madrid, Bayern Munich comes against Arsenal and Manchester City versus Real Madrid. And uh, Barcelona, they've got advantage, having won the first like 3 2 at the Pacta Princess, and Borussia Dortmund against uh, Atletico Madrid. Atletico Madrid have the advantage as they have a 2 1 advantage. Arsenal and Bayern Munich, that one is still locked at 2 2. Anybody's game and um, the game involving Manchester City and Real Madrid as well is also deadlocked. So what it means is that anyone still stands a chance of qualifying to the semi-final of the competition. On this note, this is our wrap-up AM Sports. I am Muftar Nabila Abdullah. We appreciate your time.